Play a clip. Do you guys know this man? The spiciness of Spicer. Aaron. Okay, we got to go back because <laughs> this guy, I don't know him. And again, he's a lawyer and he's got books. So he's respect. he's a respected member of the community. But. Like, if you said, like, Melton, you're going to look like this when you're, how old is he? 74? I mean, what are we? Okay. Is this natural? Or are we dying this chin strap on? I've Before we get into this. It goes to his credibility. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can't take, if you're going to sit here and tell me what's what legally, heretofore, et cetera, et cetera. I need to know if you think we think this is real. Or if did you lose a bet like Carl when he frosted his tips? Or... Were you just eating a chocolate bar and you thought, I'll just feather this into me mustache? So because, can I see the, uh, can we zoom out, Rusty? Because the eyebrows are silver slash dark as well. You know, it's almost as if you went on Photoshop and and... Or he dyed the beer gray. What? What the fuck? But then he's got roots up here too, so I don't know. Roots Calhoun. <laughs> find him. Fucking find out. But I'm going to find out. He just like, I don't know what to say. Like, how do we take this guy seriously? It li it looks literally looks like he was eating out of Hershey's bar, and then like kept wiping it with his arm. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. I just I'm not a legal authority, but I think it we would need absolutely mind blowing. Chat here is the spiciness, the spiciness of Spicer, and then he's also one of these guys like. When he zooms out, the girth, the width of a man matters. Aaron. <laughs> now, here's the Oh, this is a Stalin 19 clip, by the way. Stalin 19, you're going to love the taste. Funny thing. Aaron, I guess last night when I was doing my stuff, wanted me to come on. If I hadn't have been on, I would have gone over there, and that would have been fun. I actually don't mind, Aaron, overall at this point. Imagine saying that. Imagine this is after the arrest warrant. You know what? I don't really mind, Aaron. You, you know what? I don't really mind, Aaron. But Aaron has an active warrant. Okay, so is this guy a troll? Is this guy a Vince the lawyer type? <laughs> you know? I don't know. I literally have never watched him. Is this... For what? Well... The non-consensual dissemination of private sexual images, intentionally disseminating image without consent. And he has a second count of that. By the way, did you watch Pretty Any Social? Did you watch Pretty Any Social? They had Keanu on. Keanu, they played a clip of Keanu. They had a lot of great clips. They played a clip of Keanu where she didn't know what the word disseminate means or dissemination. She'd never heard this word. She's over 30, right? She's over 30. She's never heard of the word dissemination. And then she goes on to the show, and she accuses them of that clipping out of context. So not only is she so dumb, she's never heard the word dissemination. Again, this is a bitch who talks like she went to finishing school and or got raped by her father. Number two, 
she doesn't know what out of context. There's no out of context. She's like, she's like, you use that clip out of context. I just didn't know what dissemination mean. I never heard that word. It's like, right, that's the context we were making fun of you in. We thought you also didn't know what the word meant. That was the exact con you're fuck wow. Wow. <laughs> She's like, it reminds me of insemination. It's like, of course it does. Of course it does. Of course it does. A thing gushing up inside of you. Of course. Of course that's where your head went. How's Gino? Fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not consensual dissemination of images, intentionally disseminating without consent. Okay. First one is a felony. Second one's a misdemeanor. By the way, I love Kiki. Ki I got to call it like I see it. Kiki went on that show and, and, and lulled Jackie into a trance and had her giggling and laughing and her best friend. And uh, Haley was back there like, hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but I think Jackie was got hypnotized to the Kiki. Uh-oh. 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 So what happened? Well, let's get to it, chat. We've got the spiciness of Spicer. You already said that one. I hate, you know, first of all, the fact that Rakeda is like, one of the most popular law tubers is like shows you like when these guys, these guys have no personality, but you know, I think Rakeda is probably funnier than Aaron at this point. You remember when they did their stand up? Here we go. You guys can't stand Aaron's mannerisms. Yeah. So here we go, chat. Here we go. You already said that. Now, if you guys notice, these are in different judicial circuits. The way Minnesota does, I don't understand why states do it this way. This is just all confusing to me, but whatever. So the county is Stearns County, Minnesota. Here's the case number. If you're looking for it, 73-CR-24-6910. That's the, that's the case number if you want to look for it. Aaron M. Holt, or in 1224-1986. Oh, he's a Christmas baby. Okay. I mean... And shit, he's younger than I am. Okay. You look like Santa. He just goes, wow, Aaron Inholt's younger than I am. Yeah, he looks 17. He looks 17. We watched him two years in a row try to grow a beard. <laughs> I mean, fuck. fuck. That's me saying this, Captain Wisp. <laughs> like, fuck. So he, uh, the complainant submits his complaint to the court and states there's probable cause to believe the defendant committed the following offenses. Count one, and is intentionally disseminating images without consent. And we're going to get to this cavalcade of retards in a minute. Facing up to three years imprisonment and or a $5,000 fine. Okay, so this is for the felony, three years imprisonment, $5,000 fine. Now he has two counts of this. Level offense, felony. The offense date's about 5-27-24. Um, and then the description is that Aaron Michael Imholt, then and there being, did wrongfully, unlawfully, feloniously, intentionally disseminates an image of another person who is depicted in a sexual act or his intimate parts are exposed and the person is identifiable and without the person's consent and did so with the intent to harass the person depicted in the image. Now, people are saying that Gino could be up for some sort of misdemeanor offense as well, simply for showing Keanu. Because when, when, when Gino shows Keanu, he's also disseminating. Write it down. Now, the second one here, yes, is the, you know, the same thing as being alleged. Now, we get to the statement of probable cause. Now, again, he's the lawyer. He had to make a joke about the Christmas baby. And all that stuff. But he just said, nah, these are the same. So the uh, the misdemeanor is the same. No, 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 no. The felony is with the intent to harass the person depicted in the image. The misdemeanor doesn't have intent attached. This is the lawyer. He glossed over that. This is what I'm saying. Like, why would I have any of these fucking idiots on? He had to make a joke about him being a Christmas baby. Oh, yeah, Christmas baby. Focus! 
How are you supposed? This is the lawyer. He's like, so this one's the same. Just the same thing here. It ain't. It ain't. You know, again, this is what his lawyer is going to say. It, it, the felony's got to get thrown out because it was not a te- an intent to harass. I said your boy did good, didn't he? And I was trying to convince Gina of how attractive she was. That, Your Honor, is is in her favor. We were being complimentary. That was not intent to harass. Now, if you zoom out, you understand that this was all a subtle threat from Aaron because he had many, many more pictures. He talked about it, as pointed out by the Pretty Annie social ladies on their show today earlier. I do suggest you go check it out. He went on Killstream the same day as he sent those images to Gino and said he had many images of Kayla and they all had images of each other on a Signal uh, group chat. And then he told the police last week that he did not know or recall ever getting nude images of Kayla. And then, after being questioned by police, he dropped his phone in a toilet. Accidentally. Because he thinks that's how you get rid of evidence. He thinks the police can't get images and data off a phone he wet because he can't do it. The logic board's dead. They'll never be able to get the... Yes, they will. Also, you sent it live. Hello? You went on a stream. You sent images to someone live. Everyone knows what it was. Gino and Keanu have testified to what it was. Nude images of Kayla, uh, identifiable. Then you went on Killstream and bragged about how you had more nude images of Kayla. Again, this is all... Once you zoom out, this is all subtle threats. If they want to deny it, don't think I don't have pictures of their home. You know, I think Real Real Media Player has just put out a, a, a three-hour-long compilation of Aaron talking about Kayla. Veiled threats, compliments, sexual innuendo, sex stories. It says in this complaint that they believe Aaron won't stop. He will not quit unless he's uh, unless the court gives Kayla a, harassing, a harassment restraining order. So he will have two HROs from a girlfriend and an ex-wife. By the way, I don't know if April's watching this by any chance. Hello? But April herself could go down to that court tomorrow and get her own HRO against Aaron, and then he'll have three. The outcome of this will be Kayla having a a harassment restraining order. And then there were two. April needs to know this. She can go down to that court no questions asked, and easily, easily file a harassment restraining order against Aaron and get one tomorrow. And Nick Riccata, you should help her do that. You should help her get that done. He'll never shut the fuck up about her. He'll never shut the fuck up uh, uh, about April. So he's got to be made by the court to stop harassing these women he's with. And, you know, now that it's come out that, the woman he loves, Anne, Oshkosh Bagash, walks around the house, and she's now going back through the Steel Toe Shine Box series and, and, and watching Melton's coverage of Steel Toe. She can't stop singing movie in the Scrimp song. Aaron's now owning Scrimp. Aaron's got this desperate thing going now where, like, he teases reaction content to other people's stuff as his overtime. This is what he, he's counting on now to hit goals. Guys, I'll watch April's court hearing live if we hit the goal. We'll do that in overtime. Guys, I'll watch Patrick's movie in the scrim song in overtime if we hit the goal. Don't use me to hit your goal, bitch. Don't use me to hit your goal. (laughs) I've never used you once to hit a goal. We just do. I know. Licking them boots, Detective Pomplin. Can I lick your boots, Detective Pomplin? It's just me, Nick Ricada. (laughs) <laughs> this guy's fucking nuts. This guy's nuts. I don't know, man. You went to the police. You went to the mofo police. Oh, and I mean, I mean, I thought, I thought the deal was that. Cop- why wouldn't Aaron fuck? F- why wouldn't Nick fuck Aaron every way he can? All right, we got to ban that guy. You're not allowed to spam here. I will give you one warning, but you just can't spam the same stuff over and over. You're allowed to say it once. Nick Ricard is a cuck boy. What? What is it? Holy shit! Did you hear? Uh, Kiki say that Aaron messaged um, 
uh, Gino, he didn't cuck me. He didn't cuck my life. What? What? Come on. <laughs> Come on. He did. He did. Uh, my wife. Uh, my life. <laughs> yeah, anyway, you're allowed to think Nick's a cuckold. It's fine. Yes, Onion Boy. I'm doing 120 down I-95. I can't roll up the windows. They are stuck with spilled Celsius. Anyway, this is my OJ slash Christopher Dorner moment. Remember PayPal, Venmo. Super slam piece, McSalad Bucks, scrimp cash. This is my final hype train. Hit the goal. Hit the goal. Wasn't Christopher Dorner that fucking cop, that ex cop in California that went up to like Big Bear? Who <laughs> was just fucking off in other cops? Chris Dorner. Ricada Law says, believe me, if this could be done without police, I'd prefer. No, you got to fuck him back so hard. This guy, like, you're sometimes you're, I say all the time, sometimes you're karma. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to be karma. I'm for it. I'm for it. Look, again, I don't, I, man, I, what am I going to say? It's great that you had all those drugs around your kids and stuff. If that's true, alleged, I get it. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, Ricade is awesome. This is a, in general, I believe it's best for kids to be reunited with their parents. In general, you know, I do think that's pro- five fucking kids. Yeah, I think probably the best outcome for all this would be nobody goes to jail. Everybody fucking focuses and gets there you know again even if he is innocent and all this stuff is fake let's say it's a big conspiracy and all made up let's say let's say it's a giant interruption to someone's life this is not good and again the internet never goes away when you google him it shall henceforth come up to him and his children and all this like this is not great so like either way you know so but i do believe the best the best stuff. And I, look, I've heard a lot of stuff about the gay sex stuff, too. I hope it all comes out. As a former cocaine enthusiast, I support Nick. I mean, I'm a, I'm a former cocaine enthusiast. I got, you know what the, I'm in. I'm in. You know, but I don't have children, so wag of the finger. Bone CK was saving this for when they finally put the cuffs on Aaron, but I'm having too much fun. The man is a ruiner of worlds. Look, I don't think you're going to put the cuffs on him. Donkey Brains, member for 11 months. April, an April interview will be a big part of a redemption arc, story arc. Mike Whip, uh, Whip Key, member for four months. Uh, yeah, we already got that one. Thank you. Um, look. Is Aaron in jail yet? Justice for Cardiff. Catch him on Rumble. Hey, buddy, I'm your new buddy. I don't think Aaron's in jail yet. I, I, Look, I don't know how the law works again, but the, the idea I think is he'll he's probably already arranged something or will arrange something with his lawyer to go down, book in, and bail out like in 10 minutes, right? It could probably be that quick. Um, From what I understand, I mean, I don't know if he has to go sit in a cell even. Fingerprints, photos, here's the bail. How do you do? What is it? 10 grand? For bail for this? I don't know if he has that kind of money in the bank, honestly, but, you know, I'm sure he can afford a 1K bond. I'm sure he's got enough on his credit card to do that. And um, and he probably won't even have to sit in a cell. I would imagine. I don't know. And then he'll have to go, and he'll have to, they'll try to get the felony dismissed. I imagine, right? He has to see a judge. Yeah, but like, can't they give an appearance? Can't they give him an appointment for a hearing or something? And he doesn't have to sit in jail until he sees a judge, right? Like again, I've been arrested for cocaine. I didn't have to see a judge. I bailed out, and I had a date to come back and see a judge. But you don't have to literally like sit in the cell until you talk to a man in a robe. I don't think that's how it worked. Scott Richard Stask, I gifted a Nobody Likes Onion membership. Thank you. Appreciate that. But Aaron hasn't done a show. Look, no goal Friday, no goal Monday because of holiday. He wasn't going to do a show today anyway. And then um, Tuesday, will he do a show? Will he do a show tomorrow? 
He's he's stupid. He says no bond. Oh boy. Is that true? Uh, April tried on that dress when she went to Vegas and sent us a picture of it because it matched the dress Kayla owned. He didn't buy it. Oh, they're arguing about a dress now. Lewinsky style. Come on, boys and girls. 5,000 away from Tuesday. Super chats, Venmo, PayPal, Rumble rants, commissary cash. Justice for April. Uh, I believe, I believe even if that was the fake Mike Boudet, I, I, he probably would throw a thousand in for that. Mike Boudet is into this now. Uh, James Bomber, ask if Mooney went gay during the F sessions. Okay. People do want to know. And th- there has been a, a profile that was found on FetLife called Steel Toe. Can you say in any definitive way, Mr. Ricada, whether there was any homosexual play? Yeah, there's also a phone number, Ricada. Um. And again, I know you have to be very careful. And I, and I don't deserve this. This is wild for me. This is wild for me. I'm a fucking asshole, former comedian. But we would love to know. <laughs> Did you guys ever cross the streams? Touch the swords? Dock the dicks? Allow the dogs to kiss? Meet the meat? Scissor the scepters? You know what I'm saying? Did you guys ever bonk beeps <laughs> I think he's legitimate I think he is legitimately homosexual This is Rakeda saying I think he's legitimately homosexual That's what she said <laughs> <laughs> Gay legitimately homosexual Wow Wow would you say when you were around him, he acted remarkably gay? <laughs> I'm telling you, if he has three harassing restraining orders from women, oh, oh. cops lie. I thought Nick said all cops lie. <clears throat> I mean, I don't trust government. I have a healthy district. All people lie. Cops are people. All cops lie. It's the government. But they don't lie all the time. I mean, a lot of times they don't, but they lie enough that it's a concern and you shouldn't just take what they say automatically. So right now we just, uh, yeah. Kayla reported over the course of several months, her, Nick, April, and the defendant communicated via an app called Signal. Signal! Signal! The official app, the official messaging app of the cover. If you want to protect your comments and actions oh is that the cue will someone explain this to me what's what was the cover the 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 their group chat was called cover i'm so i don't know you're running a polycule use signal the purpose of the app is to keep things private amongst each other and all agree nothing would be shared to others Kayla sent news. I, I, the thing I never understood about those apps is like, how, you still have to trust people at some point, no? Like the weak link of any of this stuff is people, is humans. So like, yeah, we're going to use an encrypted app and we all aren't going to tell anybody, right? And then you meet Aaron and you let Aaron in on the group. And again, I, I you know, I, I can't imagine, but maybe Rakeda can tell us. I imagine that Aaron couldn't hang. Aaron couldn't hang. Aaron, you know, cocaine hurt Aaron's nose, and he couldn't keep it up as long as the other guys. And the women, you know, again, I don't know. Any guy who goes like, we were making out by our truck, is like inexperienced with puss, right? Photographs via signal. In April, there was a breakdown I mean, is that is that a double entendre? Like, Nick needed blue pills because there's a breakdown in April? Couldn't keep it going? I get it, though. In April 2024, there was a breakdown between... The- I mean, Aaron's almost 40. He's like, we were, one time it was so crazy. One time, oh, my God. It was so awkward. Kayla and I were behind the van. We were, like, making out, you know? And then Nick came out with like to take out the trash, and it was like, oh, so awkward. It's like, is this a dashboard confessional song? You fucking queer. 
One time we were making out in the rain, and her hair was everywhere, screaming in for... I didn't have my life cucked. You had your life cucked. You were the one who was cucked. Cover. April on an online talk show. In May, he started talking negatively about Kayla as well. Aww. <laughs> At the end of April or beginning of May, the defendant started sharing the details of the relationship on the talk show. On May 27th, the defendant had GB, Gino Bisconti, fully invited, fully identified in police reports on his talk show. During the show, the defendant sent Gino a text, which was a nude photo of Kayla. She did not consent to this. And then Kiki's so stupid, too. Kiki's on there like, I had revenge porn done to me, and I didn't, I didn't file charges against Kevin Brennan. It's like, oh, are you talking about your OnlyFans where you published your own pictures of your own asshole? You stupid bitch. You stupid bitch. Do you think that's revenge porn? You dumb whore. Sorry. Uh, uh, um, you dumb whore. <laughs> You're du you took pictures of your own butthole and sold them on the internet. If anything, Kevin's in violation of copyright law. Okay? Okay, you stupid idiot, you stupid bitch. F victim harder, you dumb bitch. <sighs> Nobody sneaks and disseminates a picture of a brown eye. You did that, you did that, you stupid slut. Jesus, I know you're mad that you had 11 members to your OnlyFans. No one gave a fuck. I'd be bitter too. I'd be bitter too, honestly. If there were pic there's pictures of my balls out there. I made 500 bucks off it. I made 500 bucks off it. I guarantee you didn't make that much off OnlyFans. So you're hurt about it. So you think so you're running around telling Kevin Brennan he revenge porn? You're dumb. You're dumb. I gotta use Nick Ricada logic here. They lied. They all lied. It's a conspiracy. They just don't like Aaron. It looks like he dipped his face part, it, like he couldn't hold his breath long enough to get all the hair into the vat of dye. <laughs> so Nick Ricada reported there were pictures shared via the Signal app. It is a DC tip. Look at me. Nick, Nick talking to the cops. These people that lie. Nick, why would you talk to liars and evil men? You would solicit these evil men who came after you, and I'm going to turn these evil lying men back out on other people? Yes. We're fucking around here. Again, if this is the game Aaron wants to play, this is what we play. It's fucking idiot. <laughs> Bro, what you doing? What you doing? So in May, the defendant started talking about the relationship online. On the 27th, he sent Gino a nude photo. April reported there were pictures shared via Signal. The relationship ended in April. The house story is amazing, says Nick. The house story is amazing. Oh, boy, I can't wait. And it's for sale now. It's a lot of property out there you get. The, pro the problem is you got to live in Minnesota. So. Bro, she found out. And don't get me wrong, I love a Juicy Lucy, but... July 12th, the defendant <laughs> sent a photo to Gino on May 27th. April texted Gino and Keanu Thompson. Fully identifying reports, both who confirmed GB, Gino received a nude photo of Kayla on May 27th. April looked at the defendant's phone records, which confirmed he had sent a picture video to Gino on May 27th and 9.23, which would have been during his talk show that day. Wait, 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 wait. So there we go. All right. A review of the defendant's talk show, it shows Aaron and Gino participating. The two of them talk about Kayla and her tattoos. The defendant's seen scrolling through his phone, and it looks like he's taking it. Okay, hold on. Nick says, one thing you'll learn about all his stories, he makes himself the hero of every story. They're almost always the opposite. Nick, I, I hate to tell you this, but I'm so far ahead of you. <laughs> I mean, I've been A-logging this motherfucker for a year and a half. I'm the definitive guy. Ask YouTube about me. But I called it the day he said, whoever turned them in is a hero. I go, oh, Aaron turned them in. 
Hundred percent. Aaron was involved with turning you in again. I don't know in what capacity. I don't know if he went to the pastor. I don't know if he went to some trusted friends of yours. Again, he seems to be buddy buddy with Kayla's dad. I, I don't know. The minute he goes, whoever did this, whoever had the balls to turn them in, was a hero. I went, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He did it. He did it. And then of course he came out later and said, yeah, of course I did it. He was gonna do it to me a screenshot and tells Gino to look at his phone. Gino looks at his phone and says, I like tattoos more than I thought. And Aaron responds, your boy didn't do too bad, did he? Kayla is then talked about in an explicit manner. Gino confirmed he received a nude photograph of Kayla. He's told so many sex stories. Uh, real media players, the account you want to go to, Nick. He, he, two beautiful videos he's cut. Again, you don't have to watch them, but send those to your lawyer. It's all that, you know, that's the expensive legal work, you know, is going through and logging all that stuff. I mean, it's done for you. On May 27th, he described Kayla as standing completely nude with her breast fully exposed. He further described a tattoo under Kayla's left breast in the photograph. Later, law enforcement was able to confirm with Kayla that she does have a tattoo under her left breast. Gina said he deleted the photograph after. Okay. This fat fuck can't imagine somebody deleting a nude photo of a girl. Okay. Like you got a picture of a girl naked and you deleted it? Okay. What? It's weird. Guys showing you pictures of nude girls they have is weird. It really is weird. Keanu stated she saw the photograph on Gino's phone. Gina received a text from Aaron, which was a photograph of Kayla nude. Keanu described Kayla as standing completely nude with broke breasts fully exposed. Broke breast mountain. Keanu said Kayla was identified by the photograph, and she knew it was Kayla based on the photograph. Keanu confirmed that Gino deleted the photograph. Um, law enforcement. I'm I don't know if I like this lawyer. Again, he missed the most important thing right out of the gate. So I'm like, I mean, but these are people who don't like Aaron. Wait, isn't that part of the problem? These aren't concerned citizens anymore. They're not concerned citizens. Ah, uh, now here's the part. Oh, he hates Nick, right? This is the part that's Aaron. And once again, Aaron, buddy, I love you. But remember I told you way back in the day when he loves Aaron. It's weird, right? Again, I'd be dishonest if I sat here and defended Nick if all the stuff that's alleged of him is true. But I'm, I'm also, I also understand that he hasn't been convicted of that yet, so I can't. Come on, Patrick. They found all the stuff in the. No, it's, I mean, again, tell me you've never been in, involved in any legal situation without telling me you've never been involved in any legal situation. Yeah, a thing says that. <laughs> Whether anything ha again, like you you're, you're talking to a guy who who got out of a cocaine legal issue so like yeah yeah prove it prove any of it if i murder a man i'm gonna try to say i didn't and not go to jail heads up state <laughs> for future reference any crimes i'm ever arrested of i'll try to get out of it i got a i got a speeding ticket i got a uh failure to stop at a stop sign ticket one time and it was going to be like a $300 ticket. And I took the bitch to court because she wrote the wrong intersection down. And I went and took photos of that intersection. And there ain't a stop sign at that intersection. Dismissed. You know why? She wrote it down wrong. I didn't do the thing she said I did. <laughs> There's no stop sign at the thing you said. Dismissed. Have a good day, Your Honor. Bonk. <laughs> now... Could you just pay the three hundred dollars? No, it was more fun watching that stupid woman in court go. I, I, okay, it was this. It was over here. Well, then that you didn't write me a ticket for that. You didn't write me a ticket for that, did you? Good day. That's how it works. That is how it works. Well, dude, he clearly texted her threats. Did he? Is there a video of him on his phone at that exact moment, or did he lose his phone? Did it go away? Like, huh? That never happened. It 100% happened. Ask my buddy, Chef. I 100%. I went and took photos. She just wrote down the wrong intersection. And the minute she did that, and by the way, 
even if there was a stop sign at that intersection, you could literally go into court and be like, that didn't happen there, sir. It happened over here. Dismissed. Maybe. Sorry, folks. Can't get your steel toe fix. Nick, I see you in the chat. I am the hero. You're lucky I'm currently hiding because I'd give you the old one, too. Like sparring 12-year-olds on Thursday. I am not a role model. <laughs> He's a line model. Get it? <sighs> when I was on Lakino Casino, I'm like, do not. I wish I had enough money to get trustable cocaine again. <laughs> talk to the police. Only talk to your attorney. So law enforcement spoke to the defendant. He acknowledged a relationship. You know how much money you have to get good cocaine in Minnesota? <laughs> Florida, okay. You know, but by the time it gets to Minnesota, how many times has it been stepped on? Jesus Christ. Uh, like, that's got to be, you got to, what are you, flying it in on a Cessna? And using signal. Are they dropping it on your property? Do you, do you spray paint a red target on the snow? However, the defendant stated he did not recall ever receiving or sending a new photo of Kayla. He later said he did not want to definitively say he never received a nude photograph, but cannot recall being sent one. Defendant acknowledged using Signal. Why would you talk? Because at this point, you've got a bunch of people, according to Nick, who are fires and have axes to grind. And the photo's gone. It's been gone. You can't confirm it. He sent me a picture. What was the picture? I don't know. I mean, again, I just, I don't know how we're supposed to take this guy seriously. With the, like, you have a mirror, right? Why would you talk to the cops, Aaron? Aaron, do not talk to the cops, man. Do not talk to the cops. That's all he's done since before this started. It's all he did. Sorry, chat. <sighs> yes. He spoke to the police. And then he says, well, I don't recall if I ever did it. No, that's not a cute... You're, that I don't re, I don't recall nonsense. <laughs> a lot of people have seven eight balls laying around. They do, they do. A lot of people have seven eight balls lying around. It's a it, that's a lot of cocaine. I mean that's a lot. I get it. You don't want to go out. You're a squirrel saving up nuts for the winter.